and I have the privilege to introduce the executive, the church executive, please maybe stand up. We have the chairperson ladies here. We have the chairperson only matrimony. We have the youth leader. We have the planning right there. I think those are the few people I can see. May I take this opportunity to welcome and introduce the Archdeacon who is in our midst together with the mummy. Mummy is also praying. Hallelujah. If you love me, you raise your hands and say, Praise the Lord. May God bless you. And thank you for coming to the new year, new man, new day, new hour. And uh, today I have my wife. She's fine. She's Keloy. And I also want to introduce to you one of my big, big sisters. And I call them big because they love me so much. You may have sisters, but they may not love you. For me, when you love me, I call you big sister. And I have Katie Ogwan. Katie is privileged to pray with us. Let's welcome her in our lips. I love her so much. She loves me. When Esther was sick, she kept Esther uh, with Mama in hospital on your behalf. And um, so she came over for a few things. She works with the UN, United Nations, and she's all over the country. But yesterday she said, I'm praying in your church. I told her, it is good you are coming. Because this church, my dear sister, is not a, a church yet. This year is a year of trying to find a church. This is just a shanty place. I know you have visited many difficult places. And you know what shanty, shanty places mean. And you see the kind of... But the spirit here is great. They are still alive. And I know with you and all our, our sisters all over, and brothers and friends, we we'll put hands together to raise this church. And the journey is beginning this year. So you are welcome. You want to say something? Good morning, Christians. I don't know where to begin from because this is my first service in 2022. And yesterday, I was with a pap at my place in Apara. And I told him, as a big brother to me, tomorrow I'm coming to Obaake Wine. So I woke up this morning and decided to come and serve the Lord here. And I know that we may have so many programs and so many things, but when you commit your life to the Lord and do His will, all shall be well. That being said, I will start off with 50 bags of cement here. Because I want the Lord to use me so that others may also continue with the journey. This is an investment that you don't see the reward immediately, but within you, you will be satisfied. So you have my 50 bags of cement, and I pledge to continue to contribute towards the, the construction of the church. My family ministers at St. Luke in Tesoba. My father is now the red. I'm not a stranger to about one because I'm a child of this place. And I thank you, Papa, for loving me. And I love you and I love your Christians. May we have a blessed year this year. Amen. Thank you. I have big sisters. And they are going to support me. I've called them that this is my last ministry. We must give a gift to say, all saints will pass. You will say, all saints will pass. I will say, all saints will pass the people who are chaplain there. But I have told them, we are beginning the journey, and we must put up this worship center. I want it also to be a place where we pass, even if I'm not looking on my knees, I can say we also did something here. So together we shall do it. We want to appreciate the 50 bucks. May God bless you and we bless 
the better man. And many will be coming. And you also will contribute. But let me say this message to you. Let's bury this old woman. Hallelujah. I love your hearts. I know the people you give. I know you are loved. This woman is ours. She has no child. She has no body. But she has the church. And you are the, the church. She said, I am the church. I am the body of Christ. And today, I must give to bury the body of Christ. I'm excited to see you there physically. I'm excited to be here and give. So give, so that we bury this body of Christ. I have part of my family that are seated all over the place. Uh, any other um, visitor from out? There, there could be many others coming to, be, uh, to pray with us, but I have not seen you. And may God bless you wherever you are. Thank you very much. So let's continue with our uh, chairman. What do you say? We go ahead. Praise the Lord. The choir, we have been shut on the way. Praise the Lord. Amen. Which direction? May we put our hands together to thank you. And uh, let us all stand up with a praise as we welcome the word of God. Why you come and lead us? Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Thank you, friend. I love you so much. By the love of God, huh? Hallelujah! That is the day we stand to do that. Lord, it's your body up! If you find it very poor, is it true? Oh, surely!
I want uh, my friend and uh, colleague, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 to 19. You read, and I'll just want to know who has scored a hundred over a hundred, and I go back and see. Proverbs. Hallelujah. Proverbs 6, Proverbs 6, 16 to 19. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 says, There are six things that the Lord hates. The seven that are. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Yes. 17 then says, Begin to mark now. A proud look, a lying tongue. Number one is what? A proud look. Now, any other translation? Uh huh. Yeah, good news, yeah? That's what? Huh? Holy Bible. Holy Bible. It may also be a difficult word. And but but you, let me read here your word. Uh huh. Verse yeah. 17. 17 says in the NIV. Yeah. Haughty heights. Haughty yes. heights. But then a simple word. 47. Heights of what? Heights of Christ. Pride, huh? Seven are uh, the answer. Broad look. I think we go with the broad look. Yes. It's simple than that. Mm. So, what does it mean having a broad look? <coughs> Always, when you see somebody, you will be saying, Look at her dress, look at her face, look at her shoes, look at him, look at the bicycle he's riding, look at his house, look at the plate. You, there, are, there, there are people with a heart that keeps on, you know, just saying you're demeaning people. Their business is to make you feel small. You think you're put on a good time, it tells you, look at this time. You're driving your new, new, new uh, vehicle. And it tells you, you look at him when he's in a play, you, you, uh, what are you doing here? What kind of business are you doing? But the guy who's driving you, you are you very comfortable. Hallelujah. That's what we can afford. Look at our shoes. Look at that this. Look, that is a very serious, serious sin you are committing. You are committing a sin. And I'm standing here today to tell you, let that kind of spirit get out of you in Jesus' name. Amen. You stop it. Whether you're really high class and high work, no problem. God still loves you. And he even loves the other one. Hallelujah. So proud look, cancel it. See everybody as a child of the living God. Appreciate everybody. Appreciate. She may, he may not be as handsome as you are. But let me tell you, she may be stronger than you in some way. You may be so beautiful, but very weak in some way. So let's, let's appreciate. We are only made in the image of God. I have a big nose, I have biting eyes, king size buttocks. But that's my buttocks. If you're having a two kilo buttocks, that's yours. <laughs> so you have, you have no joy to go come and begin with you. You know, demeaning me. That's because of what I am. God does not love hearts like that. You must appreciate. Hallelujah. I want the, my Christians to be Christians who will be saying, small nose, praise the Lord. A big nose, praise the Lord. Small uh, buttocks, praise the Lord. Big one, praise the Lord. Everything, praise the Lord. Let's give God the glory. Hallelujah. Everything, praise the Lord. Second is a lying tongue. A lying tongue. We have talked about lies here and lies and lies, but there are people who are still continuing. 
and the people who worship. No man say no unless she speaks lies. Why do you lie? And, and you know the Bible says that the father of lies is who? Devil. He's the devil. And I love the Bible because the Bible says if you are speaking lies, you will be not doing so much because you are speaking with your father. Who is the, the devil? So each time you stand up to speak lies, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Amen. May that tongue not speak lies anymore. Hallelujah. Today I am on the altar to pronounce that God has to wake up and shut up liars. Lying tongues. Don't keep lying here, lying there, lying here, and distorting God's ministry in your lives. I command you in Jesus' name to shut up. Hallelujah. Begin speaking the truth, which is Jesus. Tell people the truth. And prove it that it is the truth. So lying tongues. Shut up in Jesus' name. Hands that shape, that shape, in shape. Why? Why do you plan to kill? Why? <coughs> Excuse me. We need to see a human being like your friend. See somebody like your friend. Take him as a friend. Let me have my water now. As friends, lies and lies and lies and lies must stop in Jesus' name. Amen. The next one is the next one, the next one, the next one. Blood. stop killing people, stop advising, stop aiding or assisting someone who wants. There was somebody who was saying, yes, with this, he was given an advice. And the person came to me and said, is this good advice? That if, if this guy does not pay your money, just kill him. Is that good advice? Why do you care? Do you own a human being? Do we own? We all belong to God. Killing is not physical. Killing is even psychological. Hallelujah. How many people have you wish them dead? Because the Bible says all that comes from your mouth can even destroy somebody. And it indicates what is in your, in your heart. I'm seeing you because of my open eyes. What does that one mean? If your eyes were not open, you wouldn't have what? See, we means you, 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 are, you, are not, you are good for nothing. You, are, you, you, you must die. So let's stop killing people with our lips, with our mouth, with our wishes. And some people want to kill you because they have not given him or her 5,000 shillings. And begin calling you names. You are a very bad person. 5,000. Now, if you knew 5,000 was, was easy to find, why, why can't you find? Now, why are you hating me because I've not given you 5,000? You wanted some porridge, you are not given porridge, you begin hating. You went to somebody's shop, you took something, you have not paid up to now. There's a lady who is crying. Some good girls, some beautiful girls went to the shop and said, we are paying this by the end of the month, paying this by the end of the month. January came, February, March, April, July, up to now. 
go to your next place. We must see go and pray. Hallelujah. Hey, look at me. You don't know what is here. We protect the God. When I'm here, and I'm telling you, if you took that test in good faith, go back and, and pay. If you cannot pay, please tell the owner, I cannot what? They give me time to pay. At least I'm keeping quiet. Somebody is now saying he's going to carry everything of the age of somebody from the house and he gave first of March. But I told her and I told him, I said, no. So go and sit down and talk. But people cannot talk if they run away. Christians are we together. Are you listening to me? If you are here, let me see your hands. Because I'm already talking to to walls. Hallelujah. So if you have somebody there, go back and pay. Stop by biting. Stop wanting the person to die. Stop it in Jesus' name. This is a new year, new month, new hour. We want to be alive. We want to stand together. We want to love. We want to assist. We want to know the glory of God must be saved in all that we are doing. May God bless you. The next one is verse 18. The heart that devises wicked imaginations. The simpler one is what? Simple English. The heart that devises wicked plans. That's the easiest. As a translation, wicked schemes. People with wicked schemes. Sitting in people, people's houses, planning they don't follow somebody. Planning the downfall of uh, their daughter, planning the, do the daughter of somebody, planning the downfall of a man, planning how to take away a job from somebody, planning how to take away the wife from somebody. I told them in the morning, morning uh, congregation, there is somebody who is not breaking and destroying the house of someone and, uh, and is now in love with the man's wife. And the woman is saying, hey, he gives me more money. And he said, the man is making noise for nothing. Now, if you know he's making noise for nothing, you wake up and go home. Let me tell you this. This man who is giving you money is giving you because you're in a house. The next day, you refuse this man and you walked out. The man is also going to walk out and leave you. We buried somebody, someone I knew. He walked out of the of of marriage because somebody was facilitating her. So she walked out. Now that after about six months, the man also left, left, left her. And then she said, now I'm going to hate myself. And she hanged herself and died. That's what I call foolish death. And who can bury a fool? You ain't there like a fool and you die like a fool. But we who live in Christ and believe that God is still there to give you another opportunity. Why don't you live and see another opportunity? Hallelujah. So people who really conspire to do bad today, stop in Jesus' name. I am warning you. And sooner or later I'm going to begin to quote the wrath of God. To deal with you because you are destroying the children of the living God. They are destroying homes. They are destroying families. If you find that you, you have nobody who is coming to, to say I love you, you love yourself. Hallelujah. Why don't you love yourself? Why, why do you want to cause problems? Do you know if, when you love yourself, you treasure yourself? Hallelujah. Yes, and you'll be very excited. You'll be very excited and people will see you like, what is wrong with this lady? You are jumping, you are, you are praising the Lord, you are, you are just walking, you are doing your things, whether you are sleeping hungry, but you are happy. Hallelujah. Just love yourself. Hey, my man, where are you?
Feet. The feet. You know there are people who will never sleep. They must be in somebody's house to talk about somebody. He leaves his house, goes to somebody's house, as if he's going to advise him how to raise money to buy the car. But he's only there to say, Do you hear? Do you really know? Have you seen? Yeah? Yes, I pray. Tomorrow, you are a devil. You keep quiet in Jesus' name. You are a devil. You are possessed in Jesus' name. Stop. You go to give good advice. When you have no advice, go and eat your paper and your cassava. There is no idea you are giving anybody. The people think they are going to give ideas. Who, who told you you have ideas? I thank my bishop so much. Recently, a few big, big pastors went to the bishop and said, Bishop, we are the ones going to help you to, to, to post people. This one posts like this. This one posts like this. The other one posts like this. The bishop just drew to them his charge and said, Do you know this book? You read this book. You know it? This is my instrument. So, wh where are you picking yours from? So, never, never one day say you're going to give advice. Be very careful. When people are going to school, you may think you are not talking. Huh? You know, no. It's just looking at me like this. And when we finish, we will say, let's pray. May God take you safely and bless your way. And, uh, and, and in Jesus' name, uh, we pick your big notebook and then we go. So when you are giving advice, first know that to me, does he need my advice by the way? Hallelujah. Or should I wait? I wait for a meeting and I champion my advice. And don't give wrong advice. Don't mislead. It is good advice, praise the Lord. Amen. So never walk to people's homes that you are going to give advice. First check your advice. One time I wrote a very good script. A knife. I, I wrote it a knife because I was told that when you dream big dreams and I, you write them down. But when morning came, I went through my notes. And I thought I was writing a lot of foolish things. And I thought that was, it, it, it would not work. All that I wrote, because I was in darkness, and it was very quiet, and I was there alone, and I was writing many other realities. So, some things are like that. When you sit alone, you think, aha. I am going to keep them. You are going to give yourself. You are keeping nobody. So don't keep running to people's homes causing problems. Today, I'm saying you stop. Stop in Jesus' name. Don't do it again. Last way. You walk with me. My days are six stuck. You need to go back for a course. God's witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. This is the most common in our ministry. In the 40 years I've done ministry, Christians every day, they just look for areas of discord. Areas of discord. Areas of discord. You want to pull people back. You want to see this so that people are disturbed. You want to do like this so that people are, are delayed. You want to do, you know, touch here and touch there so that people are delayed. But I'm telling you, over by one may never be delayed. We are led by the Spirit and the power of God. And we are going to continue having some much power in Jesus' name. And I'm denouncing you who's thought of that. That please stop in Jesus' name. Just come and let's be together.
promises that must be verse 21 is my concluding text. Proverbs 3 21. What does this say? No, 3, 3, 3, 32, 3, 32. 3, 32. Microphone, friends. Three thirty-two. Three thirty-two. Mm. For the devious person is an abomination to the Lord, but the upright are in his confidence. The upright is what? In his confidence. Is in. Have you put it down? For the forward. The f That's a big word again. The forward. It's a big one. Mm. Who is the forward? Huh? The forward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. Now, the forward there is many people who are bent on doing wrong things. People who are bent in doing wrong things. This is what this text is saying. That you are an abomination. In the midst of all that I've said, if you have been involved in it, you are a detestable thing to God. You are not in right standing with God. You must know you are abandoned by God. But if you say the right thing, that's why he's saying, you, you took it away again. Today we are struggling. But his secret is with the righteous. Is there another simpler uh, Bible which has put it in the most simple? Yes. Uh -huh. Because the Lord hates people who do evil. Yes. But he takes righteous people into his confidence. The Lord takes righteous people into his what? Yes. You must be on the right side of God. Do the right thing and God will be with you. 2022, the Lord is going to be with you. He's going to accept you. He's going to lift you. He's going to bless you. He's blessing your business. He's blessing your marriage. He's blessing your studies. He's blessing your endeavor. Because you're doing the right thing. May you be on the right side of God. When you raise up your hands and say this word to me. Say God Almighty. 2022. 2022. I commit myself, I commit myself to, doing to doing the right things because I need you to be by my side. Because I need you to be. I must succeed. I must, succeed. I must excel. I must excel. And I must gain this year. And I must gain this year. Everything that has fallen must wake up must in Jesus' name. In Jesus. I need a new life. Because Jesus, you are life. Because Jesus, you are. And everything will be alive. I worship you. And I've said this. That you devil. Of disunity. You devil of lies. You devil of confusion. You devil of rumors. I bind you. With the most precious blood of Jesus. And I command you. To stop. And I know this year is my year of victory, my year of excellence, and my year of gain. My God will live, and the Lord will bless me, and will bless my family. In Jesus' name, Amen. And Amen. Let us keep clapping our hands. Father, we thank you. Help us to understand, to know, and to meditate on this word. That we may be in your confidence of blessings. That we may see the abundance that come from your source. 
every spirit that is so nagging. Father, we pray that you take it away from us. Every evil and every human being that holds to the wicked even when they are taught, Father, we pray that may you meet them. That the whole nation may be at peace and every family stay happily. Blessed be your holy name. We believe in you. Bless the preacher in Jesus' mighty name of prayer. May we stand up with a hymn from the choir to give our offer from the choir
also brought their ties before God and normally we pray with them together for those who have come before the altar. We say, God Almighty, I have come before you with my heart and I have my desires and I need you to answer me and bless me. I'm giving you what I have. May you bless me, God, and stand with me in all that I need. And all the works of the devil, I destroy them in the blood of Jesus. And may you take control of my life and be my God through Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. So, To you, O God, belong greatness, power, glory, and majesty for everything in heaven and on earth is yours together. O Lord, accept our gifts to present the offerings of our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let's kneel and we continue to pray. Let us pray. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us show each other a sign of peace. You will just wave to your friend. Tell him the peace of the Lord be with you. You will sincerely repent of your sin. Love your neighbors and intend to lead a new life. Keep God's commandment. May you draw near with the, with the faith and take his holy sacrament to comfort you. Listen to what our Savior Christ says to those who truly turn to him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. For God so loved the world that he gave his, own, his only son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Here also what St. Paul says, this is a true saying, to be completely accepted and believed, Christ came into the world to save sinners. Here also what St. John says, but if anyone does sin, we have someone who pleads with the Father on our behalf, that is Jesus Christ, the righteous one, and Christ himself is the mean by which our sins are forgiven. Rejoice and lift up your height, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord. It is right to give him thanks and praise. O Lord, Holy Father, Heavenly God, it is not only right, but also our duty to give you thanks at all times and in all places through Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with the angel and the archangels and with all the saints in heaven, we praise your glorious name forever, saying, Holy, 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 God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to you, Lord Most High. We are going to join in the prayer of humble access in page 25. All together, we do not come to your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own goodness, but in your mercy. We are not good enough even to eat the crumbs that fall from your table, but you never change. Your nature is always to have mercy. We therefore, Humbly ask you, gracious Lord, to let us eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our soul washed by his precious blood, and that we may forever dwell in him, and he in us. Amen.
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for giving us your Son to suffer and die on the cross for our salvation. We receive the bread and the wine. In the way our Savior showed us, may we truly receive his body and his blood. The night he was betrayed, he took the bread. And as after giving thanks, he then broke the bread. And gave it to these disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in memory of me. And after supper he took the cup and gave thanks to the Lord. He gave it to them saying, drink, this is all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for me for the forgiveness of sin. Do this whenever you drink it in memory of me. Let us sing the Lamb of God. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Preserve you in life eternal. Why you give us the song, the, the hymn?
kingdom come, your will be done on us as in heaven. Give us today our daily food, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forevermore. Let us join in the glory. Glory be to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks and we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, the Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You are the Most High, Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us all kneel. In the page 28, the prayer down together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. And may the peace of God which is greater than we can understand be in your hearts and remain with you so that you may always know and love God and His Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Go in the peace to love and serve the Lord. We go in the name of Christ. Amen. Since we don't have anything to option, I want to take this opportunity before we sing our last hymn to invite uh, the chairperson lady to come and say a word or two. Chairman, you're welcome. to the Lord God Almighty and to the old visitors that is you see in Jesus name come again hallelujah we have this moment can you pick this I know they spoke here in the first service God did wonders yesterday we were there just put it down put it down here yesterday as a church we took the responsibility for the grave and as I talk now we also made this. This is a total widow with no child, but we are grateful that the church will take full responsibility. Hallelujah. We don't want to be known for identifying with the rich, the powerful, and so on. We will also identify with all the categories in the what? In the church. Hallelujah. You have been complaining, you know, people you go and left for those who are known. No. We are saying we are doing this ministry together. In the first service, God blessed us with the catering service offered by Obama Taiwan Catering Services. Let's give a mighty hand clap. Tents and chairs are offered by Yendo Moses of Yendo Catering Services. We got 50 kilograms of beans, we got 5 kilograms of onions, and uh, when I was up there, our Christian offered us an ambulance to pick the body and bring him. Now she will be buried as a powerful minister of the Lord. Now I challenge you down here. If you have kosho, rice, cooking oil, anything you want to offer, you have 10,000, 5,000, I challenge you in the name of God to stand up and give to the Lord. Because we must give our mother a girl a befitting sign of hallelujah if you are there and you want to offer just put up your hand we are going to get it in Jesus name either in kind or in cash I know the spirit is okay we have one can you, what then can you get uh, that cash very fast even in kind we are taking this two minutes please 
Don't take it as time wasting. We are doing it for the Lord. We are doing it for the Lord. Today is our, you never know. Tomorrow can be you. Our visitor has given us 50,000 dollars. Give me my hand clap. To whom much is given, much is expected. And it's thank God for you to be here today. And we ask you within your time, tight schedule, what are you? Come and visit us in Jesus' name. And we challenge you have to always make that call uh, that you are here. Anybody? We are not going to give the basket to God and just to give it in the Lord. Even when you are outside there, you want, please come and approach me or the wedding. The Lord is going to bless you. The battle is on Thursday. The battle is on Thursday. Today we have a meeting at 4. Let me see those who are going to attend the meeting. By show of hands. You see, you people of all saints, most especially in this service, you are too English. But I'm asking you, learn to attend meetings and identify with the programs, barriers, weddings, and etc. The day you are put in your own guard, I don't know. <laughs> uh huh. Let me see those who are going to sacrifice 4 p.m. today. We are 5, 6, 7, 8. The battle is going to take place along this road of a park. A park for Patrick Omara. As you enter towards a Dubu Road Primary School, past Obua Amson's home, you will see a home just next to the roadside the big mango tree. May good Lord bless you and bless all of us. We shall have a standing meeting for the year up here. And apart that as I go, our white children's church is a shame to us. And I'm ashamed. After our induction, we are going to identify two serious teachers, necessary teachers who also know. Mugi Patrick, the name has already been identified. And we shall add one more, one more well lady and add to the team that are there. We shall challenge you to get the seat for the Sunday school, the children's church, to have a nice service. We are ashamed of ourselves. We have these children to just go and play. And that's too bad. We shall not have the youth, we shall not have the elders in the next 10 years. That will be better, and we are going to own it as parents ourselves. We need them to have a church, what is called a church, and a church not just what we see. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hey, we are doing that one. You, you know she's my advisor, chief advisor. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, get a, uh, my big sister, I'm going to send you be my letter. My letter is to other big sisters. I know them, you know them very well. Tell them I need the, the other 50 bucks so that it is 100 bucks of cement. And uh, I'm praying that God provides by the end of February. If we could get the 100 bucks, I'm giving you the, the WhatsApp number of the chairman. And that is, uh, you give her your WhatsApp number and give her your email so that uh, wherever you are, you can communicate. But my message is to all my big sisters. Tell them your brother wants 100, but and all February, we, wa we must kick start our building. Uh, you, you are going back to school. You run here. You are going back to school. Everybody going back to school. We may be one, we may be ten, even uh, <laughs> come and stand here. Everybody going tertiary, secondary, and there are the, there are the people who are falling and learning your welcome. God bless you. See, now, parents, we want to raise our hands and bless the children. 
Let's raise our hands and we bless his children. And, and we are going to agree together on what I'm going to say. God Almighty, God Almighty. Today, today we are committing our children into your hands. Protect them against evil. Protect them against accident. Protect them against fire in schools. But above all, protect them against Corona. We cancel every position of death in their lives. Keep them safe till you bring them back. But above all, let them know you. Let them worship you. And let them give glory to you. Because you are their God and their Savior. And let them march forward with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let them march forward as children of the living God. And let them be inheritors of the kingdom of God. And may power and glory be upon them in Jesus name Amen and Amen children we wish you all the very best don't do any wrong thing there if you do a wrong thing God is going to see you with his eyes are we together? so do good things God bless you May we stand up to sing our recessional hymn.